and then you will need pots. That's a tricky one. Pots can be horrendously expensive. They can be utterly cheap. The important thing for a pot is, it needs a lid of course. Um, I don't think if there are pots on the market which don't have glass lids, always go for the glass lids. You want to see what's going on in the thingy. Um, and, hard to explain as well, a good pot has a thick bottom. It keeps the heat well. Uh, you, you, when you have a thin one, a, th a really thin layer, the heat doesn't distribute evenly and you have areas where it burns more than on others. The, the thick layer, really the metal, distributes the heat evenly and it keeps it well. You need less energy. So you boil something on, you put the lid on, probably put a towel around, pop it somewhere and it finishes cooking there while you have your hop free to do other stuff. So that's the pot. And then you need something to stir with. The English are obsessed with wooden spoons. I hate them. I'm very different there. That might be my continental background. They say the plastic ones are unsavory because I don't know. Actually, wood is a very um, is a material that swells up, right? If you put wood in water, soapy water, it, it really soaks it in. Um, I can't imagine stirring my food with something that probably has soap residue in it. So, I'm using the plastic ones with good surfaces, they are some brand, and there are two different types. That's the round one, that's the tipped one. I like the tipped ones very much because if you stir, you really well get into the corners. And if you are cooking on especially those uh, electric ones, that's where the things sit that burn. So you really want to be able to do that. Uh, some people say, okay, these are good enough. But, and of course you get in the corners as well. It's, it's a preference. They're not that expensive, uh, so you can do the same with the wooden ones. But as I said, it's, it's how you learn it and from which background you are coming. If you are used to the wooden ones and your mom used them and they are fine and your family is still alive, then why not use those wooden ones? I'm a little bit particular about that one. <clears throat> and then, you probably, what you have cooked there, you want to spoon it out. So you need a ladle and um, with that you even can serve, with that you even can serve salad. So if you don't want to invest too much, a ladle is fine for almost everything. I however have a big flat spoon as well. They are for salad uh, serving. But I use them for tomato sauces for almost everything. They are just very, very practical. So we have those. Oh, and of course you need a good pair of kitchen scissors. Whoops, good pair. Okay, that's the thing. They, these are coming apart, but they are very well to clean. You can take them apart. If you had something ooh, yucky, you open a cheese thingy or so, you clean them nicely, you put them back together, and you know there is nothing unsavory in it. And see, I'm putting all that stuff into a big milk jug. It's a sturdy, ceramic, happy thing, so it's not toppling over. And I have quick access. So that's that. And what else do we have? Oh, the other one thing was we need a little bit later. Um, that was everything that goes to a pot. And that is, you need to open stuff. So you need scissors. Then frying pans. That is the standard frying pan. They are not these, that expensive these days. Sometimes you get really good deals at Lidl or Aldi or so. And they are Teflon. I, I'm using the uh, blind ones. Um, after a while they get scratched so you have to be a bit careful not to use metal on them. Forks are not good. Sometimes I'm tempted and uh, 
usually it gets scratches. So after two years of use, I usually have to throw it away and get a new one. And um, because you are not supposed to use metal on it, you will want to invest into... Oh, my cats are just beating each other up. You would want to invest into these... I don't know how they are called. Whatever. What you can see is, they are both right-handed. If I wanted to do something here, that's not working. So, I got me one that has a flat front. If you can see that. That's a tapered one. And that's the other one. So that always goes in the right hand and that goes in the left hand. Because I like to stir when I have rice or pasta or so with two of them. It's much easier than stirring them like that and then they're hopping over. You have much more control on what that stuff is doing when you have two of those. And then I have a spoon that has holes in it. Uh, you need it when you cook soup or you cook pasta and you just want to get a few out of it or so, just to try, so that the, it rinses. You need that. And, of course, you need whisks. This is a small one, wonderful for hot chocolates. And uh, this is a big one when you want to whisk egg whites or so. That's that. And then we have these little rubbery kind of things where you can <coughs> scrape stuff off bowls neatly so you really get it off. If you would have mixed something you want to get it in there, these things are really practical. I've opted for a small one actually because sometimes you want to get something out of a cup. If you then would have a big one, uh, not really working. The, the, you have to have a huge amount of stuff where you can't cope with a small one anymore. That's that. And this is a brilliant thing. It's a little bit a crater. You can uh, use it for nutmeg, for cheese, for whatever. You will see. It will come in handy. Uh, I will explain it then again when we are going to use it. So these are the, these spoony kind of utensils you need and that is basically all see it's it's not a matter of creating the mercedes of kitchen it won't help you to play the instrument better if you get a steinway uh, piano uh, that won't help you to learn it right it is you need a decent thing where you can work with and then you start from scratch to to your, your little recipes and once you get better and you develop your own style then you might want to think about the special pot, the special equipment. Uh, when you're looking in, at all the other TV kitchens they have these huge whisking thingies and of course I would love to have a hob with six burners, right? But who the heck has that? And who has a kitchen with much so much space. I have more space here than I have in my own kitchen. That is one of the reasons why I've set it up here. 